Hello everybody, welcome back to Mass Effect. I'm Dark Raven, and this will be a much longer episode. I'm going to keep these to about 30 to 35 minutes long. Um, mainly just because, well, it takes up so much memory. Relax, Presley. You're going to give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Yeah, I had arguments. What's that all about? Shall we? Um, it sounds keep... like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Oh, it's definitely odd. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Well, Presley, you make a good um, argument. I'll have to definitely look into I'll it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Now, Something I, I can do for you, talk Commander? To about his um I was curious about a few things. You and me both. Like I said before, too many things don't add up on this mission. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. Cover for what? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was a long time ago, Presley. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. But all Spectres are outfitted with a lot of weapons. In fact, I think I'm outfitted with more weapons than Nihilus at the moment. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Right, I'll see if going. I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. So I've got a bit of experience for that. I'm also going to quickly level up. Now, I don't know which route I'm really going to go for, whether it'll be charming or... Intimidate. It's always good to get these done, um, at least the first three points you get because you're going to need it. Problem is, is hmm. yeah, I'll go charm. His visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> Chill out, Jenkins. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do.
This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. Good luck. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. That's impressive. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. I try not to think about a coos. Sorry, Commander. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I, I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. All right. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Let's go. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Um, anything you need to say to me can be so said in front of Anderson, I think. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Oh, I saw this. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. You should have told me. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. 
yeah i'm sure you're interested in that in our borders why why do they need to get involved we can handle this on our own unless something goes wrong there's more shepherd nihilus isn't just here for the beacon he's also here to evaluate you what's going on captain the alliance has been pushing for this for a long time Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Wow. You put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. All right, let's go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! I don't look good. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't... Get uh, evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in.
Aging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Oops, so much for evaluating Nihilus will me. scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Understood. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Alright, let's get started. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Okay, Jenkins, we'll take your word for it. Do I have any abilities? I do indeed. Now, if you see stuttering of the gun flickering in and out, um, I do apologize, it's my mouse. Unfortunately, I need to get a new one I think. Oh God. This one's getting a little what old. We've got trouble. I've lost shields. Oh, we level up already. That's it. Bag him and tag him. Ripped right through his shields. They're out of chance. Damn them. Can't help him right now. We we need to get to this and we need to figure it all out. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye aye, sir. Some upgrades. Need to go Kaden when I can. But unfortunately, I need to rebind my keys. So I'll do that before the start of the next episode for you guys. I've lost shields!
We need to help this girl. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Right, why don't you join us? We're one man down. We could do the help. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Strange for me to be coming out now. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out. Move out. Awesome. Got a new uh, assault rifle there. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. I'll probably do all the item management after. An episode. Hostile contact. I'm straight past that. Oops. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make oh, for the camp. Good. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. That man was still alive when they stuck him on the spike. 
killing us isn't enough. The Geth want us to suffer. So yeah, Caden's pretty hard. Looks I do like need to move on my keys. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh God, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Hostile contact. Oh, I'm not to to watch it. Door. It's closed. Security locks engaged. So this is basically a glorified version of Frogger. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Mm, Don't it. worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Doctor Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Or if they seem like... Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here. Before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances, who knows what secrets are locked inside. We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please, this isn't the time. He needs to chill out. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Right, I, I'll leave him be. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Right, guys. That seems like a great um, place to call it for now. Um, I'm going to get these score points done and um, then sort out my weapon situation and then I'll see you in the next one. So, let's get Mario up.
that's that's always good and get started on that right now what do we want to work towards I'd like to fill um completely sort out sentinel in fact yeah I'm gonna go for that straight off right you can be my decryption and electronics guy Oh yeah. Put one in center. Right, so you've got six. Let's get you protected. And get you trained in assault rifles. Let's get the equipment sorted. So I can use the land sheet, so I'm going to do so. I'm not going to be using pistols and shotguns particularly much if I can avoid it. Right, let's just outfit anyway. I can't use sniper rifles very well and that light armor is better than what we're running with Caden I'm pretty sure is pistol only I haven't got any decent pistols and you can get a banshee one cool well Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.